Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to the committee for inviting me to present my research study in this conference. Before starting the presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is Mona Okianingru from Splash Marat University, and this research also supported by my supervisor, Professor Dr. Insinyur Pambang Puji Asmanto MS, Dr. Muji Rahayu SPMP, Professor Dr. Insinyur Nandaria MS, Profesor Dr. Andes Sutarno MSCPHD, Dr. Andariatun MSI, and Dr. Andes Suharyana MSD. In this opportunity, I would like to present my article about yield trials of black rice jempo irang M7 generation of kamarai irradiation. First introduction. Rice is an important staple food for most people. Recently, black rice has become popular and consumed by some people as a functional food ingredients because it contains high anthocyanin. The total of anthocyanin content in black rice extract is 43.2%. So, black rice has the high economic threat to the global market. The weakness of black rice cultivation are that it has a long pain life, high habitus, and low productivity. One way to overcome this problem is to plant mutation using camera irradiation. The rice plant printing process goes through several stages of yield testing before the line are worthy of being released into new varieties. Next, slide 3. This stage includes preliminary yield tests, advanced yield tests, and multi-location tests. The preliminary yield tests can be carried out on the F6 to F8 generation. This research is a follow-up study to assess the yield and anthocyanin content of the black rice jempo irang of the N7 generation produced by Kamarai irradiation. Slide 4 Method The research was conducted from December 2019 to August 2020 in the rice field of Niju village, Tasik Madu, Karanganyar. The material used were black rice varieties Jempo Irang Generation M7 that is line 8, line 44, line 51 produced with gamma ray irradiation and control without irradiation. Determination of the sample using simple random sampling technique by taking a sample of 30 plants per line randomly. The observational data were analyzed descriptively and compared with the control using the t-test. Next, result. First, plant hike. The result of observation on plant hike showed that the plants produced by camera irradiation were higher than the control. The override height of lines ranged from 115 cm to 127 cm, while the control plan had an upright height of 140 cm. The line that significantly different from the control there are in line 51. This showed that black rice plan are classified into tall and medium plan. Second, Flowering and harvesting. The flowering period is related to harvest egg. So the flowering period is an important component to determine rice productivity. The result indicate that flowering egg and harvesting egg of camera irradiation plants show faster in flowering and harvesting egg than control plants. The mutant plant that had the shortest flowering and harvesting egg, namely 69 day after plan and 100 day after plan belong to line 8 and line 51. Third, tillers and pinnacle. The yield of the rice plant influenced by the total number of tillers and pinnacle. The result of data analysis showed that the number of productive tillers of the line was better than that of the control plant. The high number of productive tillers was in line 51 which was 14.90 tillers per clam, while the control plan was only 13.17 tillers per clam. The line dates were visible to be developed because they had superior characteristics that could produce a like number of productive tillers. The more productive tillers, the more can form from rice panicle. 
Pinnacle lag is a parameter used to determine the height and low productivity of rice plain. Based on table, the height pinnacle lag was in line 44 which was 22.60 cm. The upright pinnacle lag of control plane and mutant plane was in the medium pinnacle category. The category of medium pinnacle lag is that it has a lag that range from 21 to 13 cm. 4. Grain Rice grain is a component of production result to determine the height and low yield. The height if right number of PT grains was in line 44 which was 102.40 grains, while the lowest number of PT grains was in line 8 which was 92.43 grains. The decrease in the if right number of PT grains per pinnacle was due to gamma ray irradiation treatment which could cause sterility. Induce mutation can increase pollen sterility so that the number of PT pet decrease and NPT pet increase. Fifth, the yield. Productivity per hectare is the result of crop production expressed in tons per hectare. High productivity is determined by the character of the growth that determines the yield and the character of the yield component. This result indicates that the productivity of the land was higher than that of the control plane. The high productivity of mutant plane was in line 51 which was 8.45 tons per hectare, while the lowest productivity of the mutant plane was in line 44 which was 7.22 tons per hectare. Control plane have productivity of 7.22. 14 ton per hectare. This proves that the presence of gamma ray radiation treatment gives positive result on grain yield. Seek anthocyanin content. Study indicate that the result of the analysis that the anthocyanin content in mutant plant was higher than in control plant. The high anthocyanin content was found in line 44 at 75.10 ppm. While well, the control pen contained anthocyanin at 44.8 ppm. Gamma ray irradiation treatment can increase anthocyanin level in black rice tempo irang. The increase and decrease in the value of anthocyanin content are influenced by gamma ray irradiation. Next slide. Conclusion. The conclusion of this research is the yield and anthocyanin content of the line of black rice tempo irang M7 generation from gamma ray irradiation so better result than the strain without irradiation or control. Line 8 and line 51 are lines that have the shortest harvest life and are classified as early. The line that has the high productivity per hectare is line 51 which is 8.45 ton per hectare. Line 44 had the high upright anthocyanin content of 75.10 ppm. The line that was tested in the result on yield testing of M7 generation black rice as a result of gamma ray irradiation could be further developed and further yield tests could be carried out. This in the end of my presentation. I apologize if there are words that are not understood and are pleasing to the heart of the audience. Thank you.